What's going on? Jake here with Uncommon EDC. Today we're checking out the Coat of Bell Cross Pod 2. Crossbody sling or hip pack, depending on how you want to wear it. I've been using it pretty much exclusively crossbody, so kind of showing how it wears in that capacity. But let's flip it around. We'll take a closer look at this one on the table. So now that we're back on the table, hopefully with a little bit better lighting, you probably saw mid-sized sling pack overall, but one of the hidden and kind of defining features of this bag is that it's extremely expandable and they've won awards in innovation and design for that expandability. And so as this laid out, as you saw while I was wearing it, that's 2.3 liters of capacity, but this expands all the way up to seven liters, which we'll show in a moment here, but you can buy this bag directly from Coda Bell. Again, it's called the Cross Pod 2 or X Pod 2 for $149. So definitely a more premium offering and full disclosure, I did not pay for this bag. They sent it over for me to check out. I've been checking out a lot of sling bags and hip packs. There's a lot more to come as well. And I'm not affiliated with them or have any coupon code, but very gracious of them to send it over. Super appreciative of them because I had a lot of interest in this bag and I think it's a very interesting and unique offering. So let's get into it. Available in four colors. This one here is called the Tropic. Has this kind of OD green on the exterior portion and that interior rolled portion has a tannish color. There's one called Arid, which is the exact inverse of this. So that tan color is on the outside, the green on the inside. Then you have your pitch black, which is exactly what it sounds like. Both sections of those are black. And the Daybreak, which is gray on the outside, orange on the inside. This material is also really interesting. It looks like X-Pack and it's kind of made to mimic X-Pack. So you may even see some of that X pattern in the material but it's not X-Pack, it's called Eco-Pack, and it's still weather resistant, UV resistant, but made out of 100% recycled polyester and fibers. And so they definitely tried to make this bag a little bit more sustainable in the use of the fabrics. Obviously things like your clasps and your zippers and things like that probably aren't recycled, but the main fabrics on here are. So the original version of this had Cordura on the backside. This one has a product made by Cordura, but also recyclable. So it's called Recore and it's RN66. This is recycled nylon and again, 100% recycled. And so really interesting, some nice looking materials, durable and sustainable, which is great. Now, mention the expansion. So part of that is that you have these compression straps on the outside, kind of a busy look. I like the look of them, but those are completely removable if it's just not your thing. Now for me, since I'm wearing this on my chest, I wanna keep it nice and close to my chest so it doesn't start to sag. Part of that is just wearing the straps a little bit tighter, but the compression straps definitely help with that. You can see how they attach, so they just slide into these two loops on the top and then button into these molly-like webbing on the bottom, although it isn't actually a molly webbing. Now this main body portion of this bag is 14 inches wide by about five inches tall. And then you can see in this flat layout, we're looking at probably about four inches or so thick, but it's gonna expand quite a bit pretty quickly in just a moment here. So unclipping these, normal clasps, really smooth to operate. You can also clip them vertically. So if you wanted to strap something to the outside of this bag, you can do that. And they do a really good job of keeping those cords organized for you so they're not just flopping around everywhere. But once you undo this, you can remove those or leave them on. But either way, this now unrolls to expose another zipper pocket. Now this zipper accesses the same pocket as this first zipper here. And so it's kind of a one or the other thing, but you now have a lot more real estate and you can see we probably added a good four or so inches, maybe even a little bit more to the capacity of that. And if you want to expand it even more, these are clipped to those straps on either side and unclipping those gives you even more real estate to expand this. And now we're getting super, super tall. This is to the point where I probably wouldn't wear this on my chest anymore. I'd swap this over to my back, mainly because one, that sagging issue that I mentioned where it's gonna start kind of being weighed down and pulling off your body, but also it's gonna affect your range of motion. So sticking out 10 inches off your chest, you're not gonna be able to reach across your chest. And so I'd probably swap it over to my back. Also never gonna start loaded out like this. This is nice to be able to expand and carry something that you weren't planning on carrying, but I probably wouldn't ever load it out fully like this. But let's open that YKK zipper. All of the main compartments feature YKK AquaGuard, which are great. And they have these Code of Bell zipper pulls and these are easy to remove and put back on so you don't have to clip them or anything like that. 
and they're pretty quiet overall, especially with the zipper pull. The non-main compartments all feature the YKK silent zippers, and so those ones all lay flat and don't rattle at all, which is really nice. So let's get this open. I'm not gonna go through this compartment from here because I loaded it out from the other pocket and that's how I kinda intended to carry it, but I did just wanna show all of that capacity. So this is really cavernous. There's no interior organization out, outside of a key keeper in here. And so you can just dump stuff in here. It's pretty expandable and flexible. So whatever you wanna put in there, it's gonna kind of adopt that shape and should be able to accommodate quite a bit. Again, rated for seven liters at, in this layout, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna go ahead and fold that up. Note that bandana sitting on the top because that's what we're gonna see in the main part compartment when we get this rolled back up as well. And so you can kind of just push the air out of there, flatten that back up. And then I do like to use these straps. It's not 100% necessary, but it does keep it a little bit more compact for you. I'm not gonna buckle those side ones right now just because uh, we don't really need to. But let's get into this compartment. So again, YKK AquaGuard zippers. Two zippers there, so if you want this in the middle, you can put it in the middle. If you want it on the right, you can put it on the right. Really smooth, and this one opens pretty far as well, so we can see it into there pretty nicely. That's not gonna be the case with the back pocket, but that one is where all of the organization's at. And so in this one, I tried not to load it out too much because I didn't wanna make it about the gear, so these are pretty light loadouts. This can fit a ton more. So there's that bandana we saw from the other pocket, again, showing that that's the same compartment. And then in here, I just have some leather organizers. We have our Epoch handmade, I think they call this center mass and it's a Knipex pliers holder. Really, really cool one. We also have a Everyday Adventure Co. from my buddy Brandon Pocket Organizer. I don't know if he has an official name for this pocket organizer, but carries a pry bar, pen, flashlight, and pocket knife, which is pretty cool. Otherwise, pretty empty, but we can see very nicely that high vis orange. It's kind of cool. It's got like a camo orange pattern on it. Hopefully that's picking up pretty well. We have our coat of bell tag and Los Angeles, California, USA 2017. Now they're not representing that these are made in the United States. They mentioned that they're imported. I think there are some components that might be finished in the United States, but either way, they don't advertise these as made in the USA. Each bag is made somewhere different. I think there's some made in Indonesia, China, and maybe a couple other places as well. So I did want to make that clear, even though it says USA, it's just because owned in by a USA company. So the only organization we're gonna see in this section is gonna be our key keeper. This is a magnetic one, which I really like. Really easy to snap on and off there, but also really secure. You can just keep this on your keychain. If you're a one bag type of person, I typically end up changing probably about once a week, I'll swap out bags. And I don't even carry a bag every single day, but the days I do, I'll use for a week and then move to the next one. So I don't tend to use these because every bag has their own style of key keeper. And so if I did that, I'd have to change the keys as well. And so I just don't really use them, but it is nice that it's there. And this is a pretty nice one. I like the attachment. All of the clasps on here are very, very nice. So let's get this zipped up and we'll get into our main organizational compartment, which is this back compartment here. Again, YKK zippers. We still have three more pockets after this one, so quite a bit of storage capacity on this. Now, this one, again, doesn't open very far, so we won't be able to see in there, but the bottom main section is a little bit kind of wider, so we have about an inch of real estate down there, and that expands a little bit, and then we have mesh pockets on either side. The one on the back goes the full length, which I mentioned this is about 14 inches wide, but that does include these kind of wings on the expandable pocket. And so if you fold those in, you're looking at about 10 inches wide in that back compartment. And so this one has a full mesh on the back and then a half mesh on the front, two half meshes. And those are secured with those YKK silent zippers. And we'll get into what I have in each of them. Again, didn't try and put too much in here. We have a minimalist card wallet with some survival cards from Countycom. We have a couple uh, little USB things. So we have the charger from Levergear for both Android and Apple phones, as well as a flash drive. And so that charger is to pair with my Lander battery bank for power bank. This is a wireless charging one, which works with my phone, but the case is a little bit thicker. And so sometimes it can be finicky. So it's just nice to have that wire. Also, if someone doesn't have wireless charging on the phone, oh, nice to have that lever gear attachment. We have a Zippo. I think I went with the Arid camo I did just because I thought that made sense for this one. And then a pen, this is the Koenig titanium pen. I forget what they call it, but their new released pen has a Pilot G2 insert. 
In the zipper compartments, again, kind of hard to show these, so that's why I'm kind of racing through here. We have just a couple random items. We have an awesome Hank Gear pry bar, as well as the Big Eye Design sliding drawer bit driver. And then on the other side, and this will give you kind of an idea of the size of this, we have some cash folded in half, and that fits in there very, very well. So that's about how tall it is. If we wanted to store this unfolded, that would fit in that back mesh pocket. The only other thing in this section are all of our tags. So we have our recycled tag, our eco pack for the exterior, and then the Cordera Recore, which is this kind of back material here. So let's close that one up and we have those other three pockets. We'll flip it around to the back and then we'll show the strap as well. And so it does have a grab handle here, which is really nice. You don't typically see that on like hip packs and sling bags that are cross body sling bags as often. And so that's really nice because a lot of times when I load these out, I carry it to my car and I don't actually wear it until I'm wherever I'm going. And so it's nice to just have a little bit more of a controlled handle than the giant strap to carry it from. You also see over here, you have these slide through pockets that pass all the way through. That's if you wanna tuck all of these straps in, you can carry it by that strap again, or even strap this to the outside of a bag. I've seen people using it like that as an additional exterior pocket on their bag. They'll tuck those straps in and just strap it there. And so kind of nice option there as well. We do have this YKK silent zipper here again, and this is the typical back pocket. It's hidden, can't fit larger, thicker items. For example, a Pew Pew does not fit in here. Even my smallest frame does not fit in here. And so this is really for small flat items. And also worth noting, this is a part that's gonna be on your chest. So if you do put anything too bumpy, you're really gonna feel that as well. And so let's get that open and you'll see, I went a little bit different this time instead of my log and jotter, same dimensions, three and a half by five and a half, but a couple little mini books. These are the Hip Pocket Brief, volume one and volume two. And so fits a passport in there as well. You can put your cash, your wallets and that sort of thing in there. And it is somewhat padded. So if you have something a little bit lumpy, you're not gonna feel it too much, but again, something too lumpy, you'll definitely notice that, especially if you're wearing it tighter, which I tend to do because that keeps it right on your chest. And so last two pockets are on these wings here. And so these are also extremely padded, have the YKK silent zippers on them and pretty easy to access. They're probably about three inches wide and about two inches tall at the tallest. They do slant down a little bit to probably an inch and a half. So just an air tag on one side, that's the side that's gonna be the bottom for me when I'm carrying it. And on the top side, I have just a kind of multi-tool from Fox, the Fox Vulpes 5 maybe. And so just did a video on that one, don't remember the number, but that's everything I have in those. Those are identical pockets and the clasp that keeps this roll just a little bit more secured is on the exterior of those pockets. Now, last but not least is our strap, a pretty long strap. I don't think they provided the measurements. If someone really needs them, I can measure it out, but you'll see that I have probably a good six to seven inches on this side of extra real estate on this side, probably even a little bit more. Yeah, probably another seven or eight inches on this side. And so it definitely can expand quite a bit. Works great as a hip pack or crossbody and is pretty generous overall. I don't know that they're, they sell any sort of like expansion kits or anything like that. Some companies do. I don't remember seeing one on their website though. But the clasp is very unique, really cool clasp on here. It's not their design. It looks like it's a Fidlock patent that they license, but it works kind of like the alpaca one we saw before in that it's magnetic, but very different operation. So it just kind of magnets on there. So very easy to attach it quickly and it's extremely secure. So it's very difficult to twist or pull this off without pulling on this string. It's possible. I did was able to do it once. I haven't really been able to recreate it. It's that secure. But as soon as you pull on it and it's the lightest pull, it just pops right off. And so you just kind of pull upwards and it just pops right off. And so it really locks in there nicely. I think, yeah, it's never going to fall off on accident. And so really like that. A lot of times I don't actually unstrap it. I just kind of toss it over my head and then just put it in place. But if you did want to lock that each time, it's really easy to operate, which is nice. But that's everything for this bag. Actually, one more thing is that this attachment point on the bottom I forgot to mention because I don't use it. This is to attach the included chest stabilization strap. And so I think that attachment point I left on here, you can put it on either side clips into there, it's the same clip that we saw on the front and then just drop it to the bottom. If you want a little bit more stability in that carrier, keep it nice and flush on your chest again. 
And so that's everything now. Let me know what you think of this bag down in the comments below. I'll try and link to this as well as all of the items you saw in the bag down in the description of the video. I don't think I, well, I don't know that they sell it anywhere else. I know I don't have a affiliate code or discount code with Code of Bell. May try and get one of those. So if I do, I'll put one in the description, but for now, just gonna be a regular link. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, or join the channel as a member. I'll help the channel out a ton. And as always, hope you have a great one. Take care.